guys, I've tried this. I don't really know what uh, the difference is, but I've got several inverter generators. And I just wanted to try it because my Honda EU7000IS would just barely start my house air conditioning, my central units, okay? Um, I rigged up this little jumper cord to jump between one to the other. And started them back, back up once I connected the cord. And with this little bit of boost, it enables it to run my big central air conditioning unit with no problem whatsoever. Um, they run nice. Like right now, my unit's running. Uh, 2300 RPMs. They synced really nicely. Um, as soon as I connected them, I'll show you the unit I'm running. Um, it's a central... Uh, the big heat pumps uh, What I've done this is a two ton. That's a four ton. I'm gonna try the four ton in a little bit but I've been working with Paralleling two different size generators and so far. I haven't had any issues But what I've done is I've back fed this into my panel The yellow one is the one I'm running off of now Shut my main off and this will power my entire house. Everything I want to turn on. Um, anyway, I just needed the extra generator to give me a little bit more boost when the units are starting up. Uh, so anyway, I've tried and you can parallel any size unit you want with any size unit. I haven't noticed a problem yet. Not saying that it might happen. If you've got a comment, I would love to know exactly what happens by doing this. But so far, it's working pretty good. I went to Home Depot, got me a heavy-duty cord. And see how it's pulling off the other generator? A little bit of load. They're both on low idle. Anyway, I'm going to pump it up here in a little bit and try it out. But anyway, it gives you the ability to run much bigger items. Uh, even though that's only a 110 volt generator, this one will put out 240. It enables you to run much larger items with a smaller generator. Anyway, I welcome your comments if you have any comments. But right now, it powers my entire house uh, and starts everything fine. Um, whenever I don't sync it to my smaller generator, I do encounter a starting problem unless everything else is turned off because it does surge to 9200 watts. Uh, but with the second generator hooked to it, it surges at 9200 with no problem whatsoever and it kicks it in with no problem. Anyway, let me know if you think this will be a problem, but so far, no problem.